There is only one voice of town view. This is Silver. What's up? This is the weekend. I'm Travis Scott. This is Drizzy. Trust me, at the top, it isn't lonely. No, no, no. It's power, just power. The fire never goes out. Yeah, feel going, feel going bad on you anyway. SBM Radio. What's up, Townview? Um, and wait, what's up, Townview? <laughs> My name is PJ. It's Sugar. It's DJ Doughboy. <laughs> it's Isabella. And you're listening to the Voice of Townview. Okay. This sorry. is our uh, official third podcast. Is it our third? It's a third. It's our third new host, as hey. we said by our names. Um, we're all pretty nervous, so you're gonna have to like stay tuned with us. You know, just try to keep it down because this is like our first time ever talking live. And how do you, how are you guys feeling right now? It's our first time. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. I'm and feeling confident. How about you? DJ Dubboy feeling comfortable and confident with these stuff. The these topics that we will be talking about. I know how interesting they are for each and one of us, and I'm excited for you guys to share. Mm. Are you okay. feeling sugar? I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling. You know, I'm ready to talk to you guys about some. Stuff. Boise has opinions. <laughs> Bro, we're getting the jitters right now, right? <laughs> Everyone got the jitters? It's okay, guys. We'll, yeah. we'll calm down in a minute. We'll get it together. So, h- how 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 has y'all's like days been, bro? How's y'all's days been so far? How was this break? Are you guys ready for the next one? Ooh, yeah, we got like two more weeks. Did y'all eat turkey? We eat turkey no. on Thanksgiving. Did y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have a turkey. You didn't have a turkey? No, I just had brisket. Brisket? Yeah. That's <laughs> nice. What about you, Sugar? What did you do? Um, I just ate, you know, the huge ham, turkey, macaroni and cheese, you know. Oh, macaroni but, and cheese. Um, what about for Christmas? What are you guys planning on, like, doing? Or any of y'all going out of town? I'm going to go to Mexico. Where are you going oh, to Mexico? Oh, for Christmas? Oh. Yeah, maybe for, like, a week. See my see my family over there. You What's know? What part of Mexico? Over there in uh, Almolo de Juarez. It's over there next mm-hmm. to Mexico City. Shout yes. out. Yeah, shout, shout out Almolo de Juarez. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to be doing for Thanksgiving, I mean, for Christmas, I don't even know, to be honest. Because, you know, with, like, everything going on, I don't, we don't really have anything planned with our family. Have we might have our grandma come over. Have you guys done Secret Santa, like, with your family or friends? Actually, I think we're doing it for our class, or some of the classes, and we should... We should be doing it for this class, too, I think. Yeah, I think we should. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Okay, my down? So I, down? I uh, want to. That would be fun because we see each other like two times a day, every day. Bro, I don't know about spending money, but, I mean. We don't got to spend too much. We I mean, should have a limit. like a little $10, you know, $5. I'm going to just find something to. in my room. <laughs> Hey, that's a gift. Hey, <laughs> give me that expensive perfume you got. Or cologne. I got you, bro. I got you. That's mine. <laughs> I'll give you some bad and body works. <laughs> okay. Um, all, all right, right guys. Um, Stay tuned. We will see you on our next show. Peace. Why would you? Too early. <laughs> <laughs> you? You're listening to KSBM Radio, the voice of Townview. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to start talking about our hot topic, which is the baby robots that we have been researching for the past two days. So um, what first, do y'all think about the reproducing robots? First of all, what, what are these called? I don't even They're know. They're called them. xenobots, at mm-hmm. least from xenobots? like... Xenobots? Like yeah. Xeno, like Z, E, N, O? Yeah, with like an X. It's, I think it's X, E, N, O. Okay, let's like, start with our opinions about them. Like, what do you think? Well, like, I mean... It's brand new. I don't, we don't really know much. It's only 2020. Do y'all 2021. even know what they do? Wh- I mean, what do they do? Supposedly, they're supposed to do things that um, us regular humans can do. <laughs> like what? Um, I don't know. Like build robots? No, they yes, reproduce. I mean, it's basically saying that it could do what our bodies can't handle, like, you know, go in rivers and clean the rivers and stuff like that, so... It's are, basically are these like robots. actual like big robots? Yeah, they grow into robots. Like, Wait, okay, so yeah, they be five eight. 
They can like grow up to five eight. Robots. So, yeah. so it's like metal that. So like, the only difference between them and the regular robots is that they reproduce, or what is it? Wait, uh, are the robot are the robots like reproducing or like yeah. they're reproducing humans or they reproducing no, robots? No, they're reproducing as themselves. They're like a new species. Really? So, yeah. so they're living. Yeah. What? Like they can do anything. They can. Uh, I read that. The, they can like bring like coffee for you. They can like run errands. But there's always like a specific Wait. algorithm to that. Like so, they're so always controlled by somebody else. What do these look like? I don't. To be honest, I don't even know. Well, right now there's just the. What do you guys think they look like? What do y'all picture? Because they're still like? they're still like in their in their tadpole state. Like because they grow like frogs. Wait, how how does a robot live? Like how does that work? I don't Are know. We like about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is new. Thing. Like it just came out. Oh, it's a hot take, topic. What if they like take over the world? <laughs> <laughs> they just start taking over the world. Yeah. What's that movie called with the robots that take over? Terminator. The no, the one uh, with Will Smith. Will Smith. Bro, those are zombies. Zombies. Yes. What? I've no, never not seen I am Will Legend. Smith. The one with the, oh. with the robots with the reds. With, they have red on their chest, like red lights. That's Terminator. It's not, bro. That's not. That's with uh, Arnold. With Arnold Schwarzenegger, the, uh, Will Smith, it's the other movie, bro. Anyway, it's called I I Robot. <laughs> I Robot. Oh, I, I Robot. Oh yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's gonna look like that. I think they're gonna look like not human, but not robot. I don't know. What do you think, Angela? I mean, um, so is this it topic about robots is like pretty new to me since I'm not really familiar with more technology than what we usually use in these courses. So I feel that robots, that is already something that has surprised me. Like, as soon as I heard about it, I was in shock. Like, I don't know what to think or, like, to expect from the future with this. But I do hope it has a positive, like, impact on society. Yeah, I, I agree. I think we all hope so. Yeah, because... Please don't destroy us. <laughs> at, at the end of the day, like, us creating something that could be potentially stronger than us is scary, but I think it's... It could do good too, but and it's, it's also, just a fifty-fifty. It's also really crazy, like how much we've advanced and how much we've we've accomplished. Like we literally made, like like almost created life. Like are are they really living? Like like they need oxygen. Well, they I, need, I think they do. I like I think they need, need like food, like actual food or in water. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's like any research on that yet. With different things, I think that will be a positive side to them. But I'm still like so confused. How? How does a robot live? Like, how, like how, yeah, like is it? Does it look like a like an animal or something? I think it w is. It's because it use it uses like frog cells. Oh, like you said, that they're still like in their baby form, right? Yeah, so they're, they're like very, so they're so they're like new. Yeah, they're fairly new. Like they're new, new. Yeah, like uh, they were just like born, and that they're you know like when they were discovered. They weren't discovered. They were built. I mean, they're robots. Yeah, you know when they were built. I mean. Uh, I think it was I, it was like last week, no? Last week, or like oh, no, it was so a couple days ago. Recent. Well, this something like this doesn't just take a week. It, I think they've been working. Oh yeah, they've been working. Minute, minute, but they but just released it. They just released it out to the public, yes, I yeah. think. And um, when I was reading the article, it was saying how they grow. They'll be at least what? Let me see. Do you guys feel that robots can, like, perform tasks that we perform perfectly? Like, do you guys think that one day we'll achieve that? Or Yes. I, feel, I, I want a robot to, like, do some chores for me. I think yes, that they're, they're going to achieve more than what we think. They're going to achieve more than what we can, can do. Yeah. But then, do you think that we're going to get lazy because of that? Oh, like, like Wally? Oh, we might. Yeah. We, we might we all, depend on it. Like that movie Wally? Yeah. yeah. Like Wally, oh. everyone's like obese and like everyone's like with floaty chairs. Yeah. Hopefully, never. Not everyone's like that. No, that's scary. But like I was saying, I was reading the article and it says they can grow. Like they'll be already eight years old in a couple in a couple hours. So yeah, how long fast. will it take for them to get old? Will they get old? Like oh, yeah. you, you said, said hours. Yeah. Oh. It'll, it'll eight take years months, old. years. To eight grow. years old. Exactly. A couple hours. Yeah, they grow fast. So they like time travel. Because the, uh, how do you grow eight years old in five hours? I didn't say five hours. Oh yeah, five. Saying it in <laughs> hours. Like she's, they're gonna be like an eight-year-old. Yeah, but in like, like eight hours. The height, the weight of an eight-year-old. What do you think That's they're gonna look scary. like? That is scary. What if we're not even in the picture? But what if, what if we like 
how will it stop growing? Like, is it going to continue to grow until it's mm-hmm. old? Will it ever get old is my I, question. Will it be stopped once it starts? You Probably never not. know. Mm-hmm. I like, feel like if it's good, they're going to mass it, produce it. What if it goes wrong and they can't stop it and, like, it gets out of control? But eventually, like, humans, it's supposed to be human-like. Um, will they die off? Or will and we could just, like, dump water on them, right? They're just robots. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Yeah, Mr. Waterproof. I'm not. I'm not really a Harvard specialist, but like, I, I, I think that they said that it was gonna grow up to like five, feet, five foot eight, mm-hmm. so Do about the average like height. Are they gonna look like blobs? I, I, I don't think so. Do they like they have like a point where they just stop growing and just stop changing? Honestly, do I don't know. I I just read that they just keep growing until I just want to know if there's like a certain point where they stop and I'm really worried about that to be honest, like <laughs> how big can they get? Yeah. I mean, I you just said, said five eight. <laughs> yeah, oh, but it's mean, like how big? Exactly. Big? If you're saying that it can be up to well an eight year old size in a certain amount of hours or days, like I think they stop. Did, I don't think they keep on going because then if they right. keep on going, they're just gonna explode. <laughs> Because like the balloon. scientists supposedly know that they know what they're doing and have, like, an idea of where something goes wrong, they'll do something. But I don't believe that. I just think they're just doing it in the moment. And they're not going to know what to do. I don't, I don't think they're do. doing it in the moment. I think they planned it. Like they're planning. You think it's a plan? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. How do you think they made it? What could Who be Who made that? it? Was it a company? No, it's, it's universities, like three different oh. universities. It's like Harvard... And some other but who universe. comes up with that stuff? Like, who's <laughs> like, yes, we need to, we need to have robots in our world already with overpopulated humans. I mean, it'd and be stuff. cool. They gotta be super smart. Would you guys like to have one? Yeah, as a pet. No, as a, not as a not pet. As a pet. <laughs> as no, that's so scary. <laughs> I, would, I don't know. For so certain gonna tasks, be, like, I would like it. What if it grows into a human? Like, what if it, they look like humans? No, I have a feeling that they're gonna have emotions. Yeah, right. Because they're like hanging out with us, they're gonna learn that they have their own emotions. <laughs> they're gonna learn slang. They start playing stuff. games with us, and then and they, then they we make us think. parents to them. Oh, oh no. no! I don't know about all that. <laughs> I'm not okay. ready to be a parent. Nah. But um, oh, what what do y'all think? Like, like the color, like their color is gonna be. <gasps> what do you think? Do they? Will it be like mixed race, or will they be I like? I think they're just gonna be like green. Maybe. Like, like a frog, right? Yeah, like a frog. I mean, they are using frog eggs, but yeah, I don't know if they're. Wait, so they're not animals? They're humans, humans. They well, I don't know. No, they're, they're robots. Not humans. They're are they robots or humans? They have they're frog robots. DNA. <laughs> they're robots with frog DNA. Yeah, pretty much. Really? Yeah. Like so they why start off they... as robots, but then like once they put them down, they start eating other stuff like. I don't know what they eat. Yeah, because like you said right now they're in their tadpole state, right? Yeah, and, and that's frogs, what they're eating. They're feasting on that. But why would they use frogs? You think about that. Like, frogs are not the smartest animal they're probably compatible. in the world. Nah, these frogs, they're going to be built different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They're going to be like, they're going to be like, um, what's that one frog game? Where, like, the bunch the of frogs. Frog? <laughs> no. Leap it's frog? No. It's like a... <laughs> frog. It's like a video game where it's like a bunch of frogs. Like, it's four... It's like Ninja Turtles, but, like, frogs. Forgot they're I like something toads, ninja frogs. I never thought Probably. it would be frogs though. Like you know, with us. I like, mean, we have monkeys. It was monkeys. I mean, monkeys. Yeah, yeah I believe in an inspector because they're trained to like perform a certain task and like they'll yeah. do it right with frogs. And they're the most like us, so like I would expect them to use monkeys instead of frogs. Frogs don't even do. Frogs have a mindset. Like yeah, how is that like, gonna work? Why would you make a robot monkey? I mean, monkeys, we are monkeys. We are monkeys. But why would you make a robot monkey? I mean... Because they're already because here. They're trying to make humans, so therefore the rationality would have been I don't. I don't monkey. think they're going to be like 100% frog. Yeah, they're probably going to look robot. like some, some mutated. Have they you seen have that the movie? Is that movie called uh, Splice? Spice? Splice? I think it's Splice. Yeah, Splice. About what? Something what like that. What is it about? It's about like the, they they create like this human this a- human animal um, hybrid, and they like <laughs> it goes crazy. Um, is it like a minotaur or something? Yeah, you haven't seen it. It's on Netflix. On Netflix? Yeah, but, uh, I mean it's kind of bad, but. <laughs> like, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, but it's like. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just. Do you guys agree with it or disagree? Let's just 
Let's like, just agree talk with about what, that. Agree that it should be made or agree that it's Do you a good agree idea? for it being made or do you disagree? You think we can live like, without it? Like, we support it? it? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Do you? I think, um. I think we're just getting lazy. Like, we just don't want to do our own work. So we're going to make robots that can do it for us. Well, eventually, the robots are going to take over jobs and stuff. So I, I say I disagree. Well, I, yeah, I right. Think, not right now. I, I think I that think. it has its good sides and its bad sides, but overall, I don't think it was necessary to get to this extent to, like, robots have to take over humans because that's what I predict is going to happen. And I just feel that it wasn't necessary to take technology that way. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I feel like it's a good thing. Like, I feel like I support it because mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like we'll, we would be able to control it because it's... Mostly, Watch him take you know, over the world. <laughs> I'm not taking over no world. First of all, I might own one though. Like I might get one. Why? Wow. Y'all, y'all don't want like a frog. A That's so scary. A frog? Just buy a f- bro. Just go to no. Uh, you you have a whole human. Yeah. In front of you, you think that's you supposed like to be working your technology. You? you think you are on top of your and technology and like you control everything that goes through your phone? No. Then okay. Dude, I'm just so, an avid so what do you think person. about that? Like. It's the technology the government is going to be taking over those, so why would you want to have one? Like, why would you want to have one? Do you think the frogs are going to be controlled yes. by the government? Uh, well, they're either going to be used by the government or... It comes from the government. Well, Where do yeah. you think all that, like, ideas of technology come from? I, I feel like um, the government... Well, it's obviously going to start... With, it's, they're not going to sell it to, like, the person that would be like, hey, I want a frog. They're not going to do that yeah. yet because it's new. They're probably gonna give it to the government first to test it out. Maybe it's already it's out. Like so professionally, like yeah, maybe like with the like a specific risk, yeah. like reasoning or purpose to getting it. Yeah, to reach like their overall conclusion. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna take like you have to have I guess an illness or something in order to have it. But honestly, I think that the government's gonna have them and make them really powerful. But. That's why I'm disagreeing with it. So, but did that I change your opinion on anything? No. So, so <laughs> both of y'all agree. Don't, no, I still don't support it. So you I don't support, support it? it? You mm-hmm. support it? Do you support it? No. I'm for the future, bro. I'm like not y'all worried. out here staying in the past. I feel like I feel He's like living in 20, 2050. There's more to yeah. the future than like you can take cars. technology to like cars or everything. It doesn't have to right. be a human. Why? Why build a human when we I have mean, so much more to achieve? Like, why yeah, bro. <laughs> would you rather? <laughs> look, bro. You wouldn't want like for fun, like just be like, hey, play football with you. No, just get your you're not thinking. You're not thinking you. about the other Why things. Do that it's not always about pranks. playing yeah. with well, a some robot. people. Don't have that, you know. So it doesn't matter. So, so they're gonna so have take, friends. So have they're friends gonna buy a friend. No, well, actually, it depends. Cause I wouldn't want them like necessarily to be a friend. It's just to be like, you know how like. Boston Dynamics has like that dog, the robot dog. Oh yeah, I kind of want something like that, like something that looks. Okay, cool. but look, that's a that's a robot. Like we're talking about like a, a species, like basically a, a robot living species that was created by Harvard. That? Bro, you don't even know if these Harvard kids were like evil villains. Like maybe they created something that's gonna, um, <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Like like uh, I lost my train of thought. Wow. <laughs> I, I get what you're saying. I, you're like you're thinking that that it's gonna like, be like it's gonna look like us, but I don't think it is. It's not, not gonna even look like just us. look like us. It's gonna take over us because no. they're trying to make them perform tasks that we do. So you're telling me you don't think that that's gonna change our purpose and what we do? I I think it'll change our purpose for sure. Definitely but. our purpose and what we do. But if it takes over jobs, then what's going to happen to all these people losing jobs? Right. I don't think it's going to take jobs. Then it's what is the purpose of it? It's the, the, the reason they're creating it, I think, is for that. People are, people want them to work for them. So it's just, I just, so say, no. like I just say no. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. No, You're standing no. on no. your point, Sugar? <laughs> You're standing on your point. And I'm not changing my opinion. I feel like it's... I just feel like it seems cool right now, but when it actually starts to happen, people are not going to want it anymore. And it, I mean, people no are not going to have a choice, I don't think. It's not going to go out to the public anytime soon. But, you know, whatever happens, happens. How much are they even going to cost? 
I don't know. I don't think they would sell them. They don't sell them. I don't think Bro, they would sell didn't them. They just, uh, didn't they you just, say that uh, they were released to the public? No. Just the article. the article. Oh, the article was released. Yeah. So then what would they do? Just have them there? Or like, That's what I'm well, saying. They're going <laughs> to invest, <laughs> not investigate. They're going to experiment with them. Right. Because they're not even grown to yet. To sell them in the future, no? Or just to have them? What if they're aliens? I don't think so. <laughs> what if I like Mars delivered? Because it wasn't discovered; it was built. Right. Like they, they, be, they were like. But how do you know that though? Because they said it. I don't know. Just word of thought. I mean, I guess you never know. That's yeah, what I'm you saying. Never know, bro. With technology, <laughs> that that's the time to me. I want a pet alien. <laughs> why? Why do you want a pet so bad? Like that like, movie, Paul. Get I a lot pet. of pets. I have so many pets. It's just, it's just fun. You know, you don't want ET. It's or a just, paw. I just think yeah. it's <laughs> a paw. Oh, paw. Wait. <laughs> Can we even talk about that? <laughs> Do you guys no, think they'll be able it's to not talk? Family friendly. Like, like talk? <gasps> I think like communicate with you guys? I think they're going to find a way of communication. That's what scares me the most because they're going to start talking to you and then eventually, like, what happens when we have robots as therapists and stuff like that? Like, that's just, it's mind-blowing how we're barely starting now and maybe our kids or the kids after our kids are going to have, like, robot teachers or yeah, like, stuff like that. This is also, sorry, keep going. No, you can go. go like, like, it's also on you to us, like, like this is, and, and the kids of the future, they it's going to be normal to them. Like, right. it's crazy how this world is changing like that. And this is going to be so brand new for us. Mm-hmm. Do you guys think it should be normalized, though, like, in the future? Do you guys feel like you guys should be okay with this? Well... You well, can't decide like it. The way that we were taught now, I would say no, but it, our minds are going to eventually have to change with the future. Um, but that's just what I think about, like, the whole situation. Like, we're just going to have to become used to it and um, adapt, to it. adapt to the future, you know? We're just, yeah. this new generation is crazy, and it's just going to continue to grow, you know what I mean? Yeah, all right, guys, really quickly, um, go gonna, ahead and share y'all's opinions on it. Is it bad or good? I, I, I believe it's good. It's good. I bad say or good? Bad. I say bad. I say it's bad. I say it's bad since the beginning, and I feel that my opinion never changed. It's because okay, y'all, so y'all are overthinking it. Nah, bro, it's three versus one, bro. It's bad. <laughs> but still, it's, it's three to one, bro. It's because that's, that's, what we're, like, that's the best part about humans, that we can create stuff. No, no other person or other living thing can do that. But still, so, bro, it's three to one. It's bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah so guys. I believe it's bad. We're gonna uh we'll be right back guys. It's been DJ Doughboy. Isabella. Sugar. And DJ. And we'll be right back with this short break. All the hits are here. I'll give it to you. Hey, this is Adam Levine from Maroon 5. Hey, this is Ariana Grande. This is Driz. All the hits are right there. KSBM Radio. We'll be right back after this short break. This is KC Radio, the voice of town view. Hey guys, it's Sugar. PJ. Isabella. And DJ Doughboy. And our next topic is going to be about the Fair Park Enchanted lights. Um, what do you guys think about that? Let's start with PJ. PJ, PJ, what do you think? <clears throat> I mean, this is their first time ever doing this, right? It's I don't first think time? so. I think they did it before COVID, but yeah, we've done it before. Yeah, I've done it before. Yeah, I, I've never done seen it before. It. Oh, and it's it's gonna be at the State Fair, by the way. If you have y'all are that? interested in going, yeah, State Fair in um, Dallas, Texas. For how long do they have it? Uh, I think they have it until. Actual, let me see. I don't want to give y'all the wrong. It's until January 2nd. So if you guys are interested in going, then go. When does <laughs> you guys going to go? Are you going to go? Like, when does it start? It's already started. Oh, it's already started? Yeah, and December 16th through the, the 2nd, it'll be every day. But right now, I think it's just two days, Tuesdays and Thursdays, maybe. When do you guys go? Like, do you guys find it interesting? Oh, yeah, I do. I want to go. I really want to go. Um, I think it's a fun way to go with friends, or if you have a boyfriend, you can go with your boyfriend or girlfriend. <laughs> but yeah, I just think it's really cute because we don't really have that much stuff here in Dallas. So yeah, I think it's I think it's a good way to get everybody together. 
for this Are season. Are you going to go PJ? To be honest, probably not. <laughs> but I don't know. It depends. It depends on what, like, I do want to see a light show, though. So I'm, I probably might go. Is it gonna be a? Uh, is it gonna be free? Or no, you have to it actually, pay, you have to pay money. How much? <laughs> it says that tickets start at thirty five for adults, and then thirty two for ages sixty five and up, and then military is the same sixty, no twenty five, and then children two years and younger are free. So I don't want to say anything wrong. That's what I'm reading from the. I'm paper. just saying I'm two years old, so I could be free. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> two, two years old, old over here. Everybody's two years old. I want to go. Like I feel like it would be a fun experience with my friends and family. But I need to find the friends to go with me first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Y'all trying to go? Y'all trying to go? We should go. Y'all trying Who's to go? Who's paying though? I'm not. Paying. <laughs> oh, we're two years old. I'm not paying. Is oh wait, we're all two years and younger, right? <laughs> yeah, two years and younger is cool. So. Um. I mean. I just think it's really cool because I heard they have ice skating, so I, they really only have that. You guys that. know how to ice skate? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> we live in Texas. Of I course mean, we, we don't really know. Where are we going to ice skate? Well, at Galleries. the mall, at the park mall, they got ice skate. Park mall, Gallery. Um, but I think, okay, so there's another topic that's going on right now that happened on Monday with the Barbados detaching from Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. What do you um, guys think about that? Barbados. <laughs> you don't know what Barbados is a country. Barbados is a oh, European okay. country. Yeah. That was Yeah, I think that was the right move. Honestly, after so many years of being in the monarchy, I think it was time for them to have their own freedom and Wait, you know, so make what happened? Can you like give like a quick explanation of what happened with Barbados? Yeah. So basically they detached after nearly four hundred years and then um, they had like a whole ceremony with these parades and um, I think it was like music and stuff like that and then there was there was famous people that went including Rihanna because you know she's from Barbados but I think it was more of like a celebration of them I don't know how to explain deattaching because we live here in America but isn't it called um, seceding? maybe I don't know yeah. but Supposedly, the queen is still good with um, good with them. They're they're still allies and stuff like that. And she's proud of them for um, detaching themselves from her. But yeah, that's what I read in the article. <laughs> Why did they're this like happen though? Like, what made them cut ties with each other? I think I think they just want. It's kind of like us, right? Because we used to be a European. A um, European. Can you explain loaned. that a little bit more in depth? Like, um, so. You know how Europe is controlled by Queen Elizabeth because it's a monarchy. And Barbados is a European country. Well, not anymore. Well, they're still in Europe, but they're their own country. Yeah, they're not. It's like us. This is basically what we did. But, you know, we fought for it. And they just signed a treaty or something. Yeah, they I think seceded. it had. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying they seceded. Yeah. The And did the queen get, like, replaced with somebody else? No. They. Yeah. I, well. I they replaced her with. There's a new Sandra president. Sandra Mason. I think that's what I read from the article. Yeah. Oh, it's, most it's, likely. It's a woman. It it's a first woman president in Barbados. Oh. And uh, is she African American? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know. I didn't read that. All I read was that the reason that they did secede was because of something to do with slavery, and that they were still having things to do with slavery, like little. They still had workers and stuff, and so basically they wanted to detach themselves from doing that. So they got unfairly treated. And I they guess, just wanted yeah. To and they, I guess they got tired of it, and they, they were like, okay, it's, it's about time. I mean, after 400 years, I think it's time. Where did yeah. you guys, like, see these news? Where did you guys watch them? Or what was you guys' first, like, thought about them? I just thought, like... Good for them. <laughs> like, now they're independent, so, you know, they have more opportunities now. They could they could choose to be a great nation, or they could choose to, like, yeah. I don't know. They can know, choose they who to be allies with and yeah, things like, like that. And they can have their own trade system and stuff like that. I think it's really good for them, actually. And um, Barbados, I don't know if it's true or not, but I think it's, it's not one of the richest countries, not countries, 
Wait, is it a country? Yeah, yeah it's a country. So yeah. I don't. It's not one of the richest countries, but it's they. Not a lot of them have money there, so maybe this new government will allow them to make their own like profit, like you know, and start making trades with other countries. So you and see such. it positive? Like, do you guys see this as a positive like news for uh, the Barbados country? Yeah, I think it's positive. I really do. I think it's something that they have um, more control over, like what yeah. they think or decide to do with. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's positive. Cause you know they, cause like I said, they're independent now. Like, yeah, it's like it's like they they, it's like they turned eighteen. Cause <laughs> like you said, they, uh, the queen was proud of them. Yeah. It's like they were her little little uh, kids or children. They like so you're they grew you're up. comparing it to them. And yeah. Rihanna was also there. So what happened with her during the ceremony? Like I heard she got honored to be a national hero. Yeah. Supposedly she got she got um, the award to be a national hero in Barbados, but some people were like, "Well, why did she get? Why did she get the award? She doesn't do anything." But I truly think that she does, and she did a lot for her country, especially for like putting them out there and not being, you know, like she she doesn't hide where she's from, and I think that's a big part of her well being and like her brand as a person so i think she did a lot for the country yeah um you know i heard she did a lot of great things um what what exactly like specifically were were some of the great things that she did just like you know, the I heard fact she that maybe that she's representing for like her country like standing up for them yeah like that could be one of the main ones yeah what do you think so <laughs> so rihanna was like we need freedom they did no, it. I'm. We're saying that like she did a lot for the country in order for it to be known as it is today. So we're discussing on why like she got the award. Yeah, well, like she was probably in the ceremony for a reason that. because I know there's many artists in that country. But why do you think they chose her, uh, Rihanna? Maybe she did something for the country or something that made her known and stand out to be in that ceremony. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure she has for the amount of like, you know, money that she has. I feel like she could have donated to charities and such. And I mean, you never know. She's not the type to post about it and be like, "Oh, I donated to this. I donated to that." Like, it's her home country, so it's. Yeah, I she think did it out of kindness. Yeah, you know, she did at it her out own of, heart. Out of love yeah. for her country. Yeah. And like, then, would you guys? Would you guys? Um, like help the United States. Well, I mean, the United States doesn't need help, but let's say y'all were from... Oh, never mind. This question is... Kind of <laughs> oh, so we're like... Are you like trying right to right say, like, if like will we do what she... Yeah, like if we were in their country? position. Yeah. Um, if we were in their position, I, um, I don't know. I mean, we were in their position. When? We were never in a monarchy. No, but he's saying, like, we personally, were like, us. When? Wait, wait, are you serious? I mean, <laughs> Sugar, are you we serious? We were, we were with... The British Empire, and then we seceded Bro, from it because way back. Oh. That, yeah, that was way back. Then. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Just, it's that's a why U.S. history. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that back. But we had, we fought for our, like we had a war. They they didn't. They they just signed. They yeah, because they had a more. It. They were more tyrant back then. Queen Elizabeth, chill now. Yeah. <laughs> I but guess. she was cool and she was like, I. Right. <laughs> I good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Do you think she did that maybe because she didn't want things to get out of control, like just make it calm? I think they were like they were already like thinking about breaking away from her. So I just think that it she had she no agrees. choice. She just had to agree with it because of how long it's been going on for. But yeah, that's what I think. And then there's a quote. There was a quote that they had said to Rihanna. It was, may you continue to shine bright like a diamond <laughs> and bring honor to your nation by your words, by your actions, and do it, and do, and to do credit wherever, wherever shall go. God bless you, my dear. Um, and this was said by Motley. And he, it says that he placed her palm over her heart and... No, she she placed her palm over her heart and said thank you. So I think that was just a lot for. It was very. It was a lot for her, especially for her being one of the head people of her country. But why Rihanna? 
I mean, I don't, Rihanna. I still don't get it. Like, why bro, Rihanna? It's the queen, bro. I mean, yeah, mean, the United States. She, I don't know about Barbados. I say she basically So represents. it's like this quote, like, mean to you guys. What do you guys think that it meant to her? Like, what they told her about? I think it, I think it meant a lot to her. Because that's yeah. her home country. Like, imagine, like... The president. Well, not this president. Maybe like, <laughs> maybe like Obama. I like the president like of Mexico. Was she born here or was she born in Barbados? She was born in Barbados. She was born oh, in Barbados. Okay. That's why. That's her country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, th- I agree. I think it, w- it meant a lot to her. And like, imagine your own country looking up to you, exactly. like the whole country. Yeah. So. Just, yeah. I th- yeah, because you represented them in a way, in a positive light. Cause yeah. Even this was a celebration. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't anything like, you yeah, I know. Think, my bad. Yeah, I think they have Rihanna Day. <laughs> <laughs> they better. I mean, she's a, I mean, I don't think, I don't think that people that get national, on, like, rewards get days. What unless they did, like, unless they, like, change history. Oh, National Rihanna and Day. Do you think Rihanna changed mm. history? Oh, that's what you were talking about. Like, no. she get, like. I mean, in the music industry, she did. Yeah, but not. Y'all don't think she did anything for, like, women? Like yeah, no, she, I think she did, actually. She, I'm pretty sure she inspired a lot of women. The fact that she was recognized as, like, woman, like, she stood up for women in that way. Yeah, I agree with that. I just think it was very, it was a good thing for, for that country and for everybody that was going on, and I hope everybody, like, celebrated it well. It looked fun from the pictures, so... I, yeah, that's just what right. I think. All right, yeah, to conclude, what are you guys' opinions, like, overall on the, uh, on Barbados succeeding? Um, I think I think it's a good thing. Is You know, history is changing fast and constantly, and mm-hmm. I can't wait to see how they would be as a country. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I'm excited to see where they take this, like, with new opportunities. I'm excited to see how it goes. Hoping it's positive. Yeah, same here, same here. All right, um, we'll see you guys in the uh, next section of this podcast. Um, it's been DJ Doughboy. Isabella. Sugar. And PJ. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Peace. We will be right back with more great conversation. Stay tuned to KSBM Radio, the voice of Townview. We're back. It's Sugar. It's DJ Doughboy. Isabella. And PJ. So what do y'all think about the podcast so far? I like where it's going. I like learned so much about these topics I didn't know about. Thank you guys for sharing yeah, your opinions and thoughts. Yeah, it's interesting talking about this stuff. I like to hear y'all's opinions, even if I don't agree with them. But um, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, bro. The with them Xenobots. <laughs> um... <laughs> I th- I the podcast right now. I mean, I f- I think it's going great. I, I'm just a little shaken up right now, but <laughs> I think it's going good. I like talking to you guys about this yeah, stuff. I was definitely more, you know, more a little bit nervous at the beginning, but now I'm a little bit. As we start getting into more topics, I feel that we all get more comfortable with them, yeah. like talking to each other, and like it's fun to see arguments or like different sides to these topics, like. There's yeah. agreeing and disagreeing. It's not just about one straightforward. Yeah. But, yeah, okay, so what else? Uh, th- like, this this new podcast is, like, it's crazy. Like, because we never, like, did anything podcast-related, right? Yeah. Right. At the beginning of the year, this is our first year doing it, so it's just, it's brand new to us, so. Or I think, like, uh, our team, like, we chose to do topics out of our comfort zone. Like, we chose topics that... We had to go out and research about and, like, fill ourselves with to share with you guys. Right. We wouldn't have talked about it unless we been in here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like ever since we started this podcast, you know, we've been, like, getting closer as a, not only as a school, but, like, as a, as, like. As a team. Yeah, like, as a team, you know, like. Yeah, it's good you know, to voice. Shout, shout out KSBM, you know, <laughs> the ones in the back. I know y'all. What do you guys feel that these podcasts have helped y'all with, like personally? 
I think we're getting a better understanding of what's going on around me because we're so tied into being on our phones and stuff like that. So it's, you know. But we're going to have another small break really quick. And we'll catch you guys in a minute with our next topic. See ya. You're listening to KSVM Radio, the voice of Townview. Stay tuned for more. Uh, hey, what's, we're back with our, with our break, and our new segment, Sports and Marketing, I meant Sports and Entertainment. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still a little shaken up, my bad, my bad, guys. So, my name is Isabella. It's DJ Doughboy. It's Sugar. And PJ. Um, I don't know why we introduced ourselves a bunch of times, but our, into our topic of Sports and Entertainment, and entertainment we'll... <laughs> okay, we're going to be talking about a California football team. They're a deaf California football team. They went to the championships um, not too long ago, and they went to the championship, and they lost their last game, actually. Okay, which first, is off, first off, what do you guys think about deaf uh, football team? Like, what comes to your head? Do you guys think it's working, it's not? Um, like, do you guys think, like, if it's possible to, like, uh achieve the same things that a regular team does to this day? I mean, they yeah. win 12-0. I think it's working pretty good. Yeah, and they have an advantage because they can make plays, like, with signals and the other team wouldn't understand. I mean, unless, obviously, right. if they speak speak sign language. Wait, don't you think, like, the, they're playing against also, like, deaf teams? No. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's no they're in a regular season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's a so regular they're the season. only deaf team? Yeah. Because yeah. they're in an only deaf school. What's the school? It's in California. Yeah, but what's it called? I think it's Riverside. Yeah, well, it's Riverside. They're from Riverside. I don't know what the actual school is called, but like you were saying, how it was like, uh, they were twelve and zero. They weren't always like that. It was they had multiple seasons, like seven seasons, and they were losing back to back. So how do you think they gained, you know, better teamwork in order to go to the championships this year? I mean, I feel that the teamwork, like them working together to find a solution to uh, something that society sees as a problem. I don't feel that it's a problem because they weren't stopped from doing what they've been doing till this day. So I feel that it was that teamwork and that communication that they have with between like the whole team or that uh, sharing of um, duties that they had between the group. Yeah, they had like a common interest, you know, how they're all, you know, deaf, but they all can relate to that and bond with that you know what i mean yeah so but I not th- only that those kids they have spirit they, they do they have spirit they they did that like for real like not a lot of people could say like oh yeah there's, there's this dead football team they they almost won the championship yeah. and in the championship game you know unfortunately they lost but they still they were dominating in the first half like yeah. it's crazy like they like like they lose a sense, but they like gain their their other senses. Do you yeah. think they, they get a lot of hate um, for uh, being a deaf football team that is recognized as a regular team? Like, do you guys think that there's people that are against it or like uh, give hate to those who are involved in this school or team? I mean, first of all, I think I think they might get canceled for that. I mean, <laughs> you're making fun of a deaf person. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I feel like they are getting hate because they're unique. Mm-hmm. Like, no one's ever heard of this before. And everyone's like, dang, I should have jumped in that. That's yeah. like, I mean, it's basically with everything else. I think they're getting hate and love, like, hate from the people that, that like, like to make fun of people because of their... Or didn't believe in uh, them. Yeah, yeah, like, but but I also believe they're getting a lot of love because, you know, I mean, they made it they made it on the news, so, I mean... Yeah, they were recognized by NFL. Yeah, they were recognized by NFL... Um, franchises so i think it it helped them in a positive way to get recognized but do you think that they're gonna have a lot of stress on them next year in order to go back to the championships or do you think they're just gonna like no. i feel that as they keep achieving different things i feel that it's a step forward to more stress because you're trying to uh do more than what you did last time so i feel that overall they are gonna be stressed because they will they're gonna try to like plan better or like do better for their next game nah i think they're they're gonna do better next next season because you know you only get better as as the more experience you get yeah i feel like i feel like they are gonna get better from this because they're more of like a spirited team and i'm pretty sure this this 
this well almost championship win. I'm pretty sure that gave him a lot of confidence. Yeah, uh, and since since then they've been getting more popular, and then since they can't really hear the crowd, but they can see the crowd. And I and then in the interview they said that that once they see the crowd all hyped up, it gets them hyped up. And I feel like that's like since they have even more fans, imagine how much better they would play. Right. But it, it's different people, you know. This this is a high school team. They have seniors that leave off, so how how would that affect their team like getting new people in? Uh, well, it just I mean, I'm pretty sure their coach knows what he's doing, you know. If the coach knows what he's doing, then I'm pretty sure like no matter if new if even if new people come, like they're still going to be up there. And they're still going to strive to do better, you know? Mm-hmm. Do you guys think that they will get, uh, like, individual scholarships or would it be more as a team scholarship for everyone rather than receiving one for each individual? I think it's individually. I was thinking about that, too, because it is a – I mean, it's a team sport. Football's a team sport, period. But even though they're death, I think that they have their own, you know, special talents that they bring to the team – so I think individual scholarships would be good, but at the same time, like, you never know. Yeah, and it would be really crazy. Like, what if they make it to the NFL? Like, the right. first first deaf person in the NFL. Like, I mean, that would be a crazy thing to read on the news. But would they change their, their way of, you know, putting out, like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Would they change their ways for that one person? Or I'm talking about, like, the NFL. I mean, like, like would they switch on them? Like you know how they use jealousy? whistles. You know how they use whistles and stuff like that. Like, are they gonna be able to change how? Oh well, they yeah, they play? would have to to make it equal. Cause like you know we're, we're all about equality now. So I feel that it would like they would like try to make adjust it to like where both teams can like understand it and so it can be a fair game. Yeah. And overall, if it's not supported, I feel that the audience would see when it's not equal or fair. The referees, they um. They do hand signals anyways. Like, when it's a field goal, they put their hands up. Yeah. Or when it's a, like, I don't know, turnover, they, they do, like, a... What's the little spin? Yeah, the spin. Do you guys think they spin? already do that because they know that... Uh, or no, they... Overall, <laughs> they do it because maybe there's... What if there's a deaf audience that can't... A person in the audience that can, like, listen to directions and they purposely do that for I them. think they do that because it's a loud stadium. <laughs> so that's what they have to do in order for the players to actually see what's going on. Like, either way, you're going to be hard of hearing when you're um, when you're playing football with the helmets and all the fans and stuff like that. So that's another reason why I think that they use the hand signals. I feel like with the introduction of, like, these deaf, this deaf team, and if they do get into the NFL, I feel like that's good for the NFL because I don't think any other sport has, like, pe- and it would bring more opportunities for people with disabilities. Yeah, and it would be a big inspiration for those, motivation. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it would it would motivate them to, mm-hmm. to become one of those players. Right, it'll, it'll make people want, well, People with disabilities want to actually be on a team like that because, I mean, maybe they feel like they can't do it. Like, that we put that in our heads that we can't do something because we have a disability or we have problems or we have stuff like that. But I don't think it's always like that. I think it's just all in our head, and I think anything is possible. Do you guys think that uh, there's going to be, like, people trying to get in the team but lying about their disability or just to get known or... Receive scholarship. Like, that would be messed up. Have y'all thought about it? Like, it doesn't come to your heads when somebody like is doing good and people try to get involved just to get that same recognition. Yeah. So uh, that's the way I see it. Like, it has that side too. It will be really bad, but it can happen. Yeah, I I didn't even think about that. Like, I mean, they're gonna do background checks anyways. Like, they're gonna they're gonna mm-hmm. check if they're actually like that. They actually have that disability. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's that's yeah. what comes with having a physical and stuff like that. Yeah, but y'all talking about like in the NFL, right? Anytime, any time, any time, high school, university, and college football. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. You I need just, a physical anytime, right? Yeah, you need a physical anytime. But I'm just saying, at the end of the day, like there is spiteful people like that that would want to do that for recognition, mm-hmm. but 
I don't think it would be possible. Like, I think at the end of the day that people are going to see your true colors and stuff like that. So I think it's just best if you let them have their moment. Uh, lying, there is a lot of liars in in this in the sports industry. Like, there's always, like, drug violations and stuff like that. Different like, news about uh, violations with uh, football players that you didn't expect. Like, there's always another side to sports. Right. Yeah, they people find like ways to cheat the system. Like mm-hmm. that's not new. It's been here ever since sports was ever invented. Yeah. What are one of the examples that you guys see with the relating to lying to f- to receive that recognition or just to succeed in general? Like when uh there was these boxers, uh, I don't know their names, but this guy, he like took out the padding on his boxing gloves. And he put plaster on his on his uh the wraps, and it's like it gets hard. So it's, it was like he was punching him with like 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 bricks almost. So he cheated his <laughs> way. Yeah, and he yeah. won it. So yeah, there there is a lot of liars and cheaters and dirty people in the sports industry. But I mean, 